Just today, I heard that the Biden-Harris Department of Justice cut a deal with al-Qaeda terrorist Khalid Sheikh Mohammed to avoid the death penalty. It was reported today. Now, as someone who enlisted in the Marines to serve after 9-11, that is ridiculous, but it's not surprising. Now, just think about the point that we've gotten to. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have weaponized the Department of Justice to go after their political opponents, but they're cutting a sweetheart deal with 9-11 terrorists. We need a president who kills terrorists, not negotiates with them. Now, the weakness of this administration, of Kamala Harris's administration, has been a disaster for our country all over the world. Now, there are so many examples we could talk about, but recent news comes out of Venezuela that they cut a deal with a dictator in Venezuela, and they offered in exchange that that dictator would have free and fair elections. And shocker, the Kamala Harris administration doesn't know anything about free and fair elections. So they're coddling dictators all over the world. We need to bring back American strength. And that means bringing back Donald J. Trump as President of the United States. Now, after covering up for Joe Biden's incompetence for three and a half years, this is a scandal from both the Democrats and the media. Now they're ca gaslighting us about Kamala Harris's radical record. The media likes to portray her all of a sudden. She's a sensible moderate. That's what they say. Now, the same media that told us for three and a half years Joe Biden, who couldn't finish a sentence, was Albert Einstein, now they tell us Kamala Harris is Abraham Lincoln. But anyone who is too blind to see Biden's incompetence or, more likely, too dishonest to admit it is not fit to serve as our Commander-in-Chief. And the Democrat Party bosses, they've decided to install Kamala Harris as their new nominee. But think about this. She has not received a single vote for President of the United States. Now, the media calls this a coronation. I think we'd call it a coup. And in America, we don't crown our leaders. We vote for them. Now, I'm going to the border tomorrow, and her record of disaster is clear. 500,000 kids have been trafficked by the Mexican drug cartels because of her policies. Hundreds of thousands of our citizens are dead from fentanyl overdoses because of her policies. Hardworking Americans cannot afford groceries because of her policies. Now, the media wants to call her a moderate, but here's a fact check for the fake news Kamala Harris was the most liberal senator in the entire United States Senate. She is a dangerous San Francisco liberal, and thanks to the people in this room, she is never going to be the President of the United States of America.